Hey, what's up, guys? I'm your host, Fawn Stone. I'm your host, Fawn Stone. Fawn Stone. <laughs> we have great interviews with all of your favorite celebrities, so don't go anywhere. Coming up next. Today we're here at the opening night of Hit Play, Kiss Me Kate. There's no substitute for breathing the same air as the audience. I'm here with Jason George. The first house I ever bought was Wayne's house. I bought it from Wayne. Wayne Brady, hello. I love Kiss Me Kate and I can't wait to see Wayne Brady do it. And what do you love about theater? The chairs are comfortable. I just drove by and saw there was a crowd of people and decided to come out. I feel like I'm part of the Pasadena Playhouse family. We are live at the 2014 BET Awards in Los Angeles. California and it is crazy. Producer of Think Like a Man, Think Like a Man 2, Will Packer. How does it feel to have the number one comedy right now? Number, two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. Yeah, well, number one comedy two weeks. Last week we were number one in the country. That's amazing. You kidding me? BET is a big supporter of all my films and all that I do. So whenever I can come out and support, I do. I'm out here talent scout. I'm looking for my next star who I can come and put in my next number one movie. Somebody says it's you. I'm here with Diggy Simmons. What's up? You're all grown up now. You got some seat singles out. You know, I got a new album coming out. How does it feel to be one of the hottest men on the hottest show on BET? Oh, wow. Really? It feels good now that you put it that way. So what brings you out? I love the BET Awards. I don't miss this every year. My family reunion was yesterday and I miss it to be here. Sorry, Grandma. It's so cool. You know, it's like, and I think every actor has a little bit of that, that, that little person inside that's like, is it? Is it? And so every time you hear it, you're like, yeah. You are nominated for Best Director. We had a movie like over a year ago now and it came out in November. And is there another one in the works? Uh, the script is going to go into the, to the studio next week. It's going to be the, the funniest one of them all. We're holding to it. <laughs> you got you better. You, you should. Welcome to Buzzing Headlines. I'm your host, Fawn Stone. And today we have a guest correspondent, MSNBC political analyst, author, and Georgetown University professor, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Miss Stone. And we are at the 2014 African American Critics Films Award. the host of the evening. That's what they tell me. How does that feel? You bringing anything special tonight? Mostly I'm excited that I get to talk to people like you uh, and it's just, it's a beautiful thing when you can just get out your car and somebody like you says hello with a microphone. We're celebrating black cinematography and we're celebrating a year that for me was very difficult personally. But you still are doing a great job on the game. So it should it should be a fabulous year for you. So. It will be an incredible year for me. I think the viewers will not be ready. We are inside in what will be in just a few minutes the start of the awards show. Woodville Station was one of my favorite films. Uh, I also love The Butler with Forrest uh, Whitaker. Uh, so it was a great year last year and Best Man. I mean, it's a lot of great movies. I am Melody Hobson. I'm just the husband. <laughs> we just have a lot of admiration for the magazine as an important fixture in black America. And Thanksgiving is coming up. Which one of you is doing the cooking? Neither. <laughs> I'm here with the Honorable Dr. Reverend Jesse Jackson. He doesn't need any introduction, but I'll give him yes, one anyway. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's a joy to be in the midst of the legacy of, of Evan and Jet. Thank you. Thank you. Today's show, we have one of the creators and executive producers of Black and Sexy TV. My name is Janine Daniels, and I am one of the four creators and co-founders of Black and Sexy TV. For those who may not know, tell us what Black and Sexy TV is and what all the buzz is about. As a storyteller and as a woman of color who's not used to saying positive images of herself on TV, I was just completely excited about the idea. We are basically creating what we want to see. We're telling our story. I'm your host, Fawn Stone, and in today's show, we have an exclusive interview with the notorious former drug lord turned entrepreneur, Freeway Rick Ross. Now, you have a book coming out. Tell us more about that. What can we expect? You will hear about the people who was there to take me down and the people that was there to help me come back up. It has 
been amazing. We hope to see you next year.